What's up, everyone? So today, it's been a while since I um, recorded from my desktop, so I thought, like, why not? And also, um, JP has the new player campaign going on, so I thought, why not make a new JP account since it's been a while since I played on JP, like year, like over a year. So starting anew, and. Um, I'm also going to discuss about the December calendar thing for Global as well for a bit. Get you guys my thoughts about this whole shenanigans. But first let's pull right now. Before, I, If I don't get anything I want though, I'm going to probably reroll. God, the Steam version looks so pretty. Something FF12. No idea what this does. Again, language barrier. <laughs> Again with the language barrier. What the hell does this do? Must be a status effects thing. This is a four star. A darkness card. Interesting. What is this? What is this? It's cool that I get everything maxed out once I acquire it. It's pretty cool. Class change G. Oh, I don't. Huh, weird. I don't get it all, all the way unlocked. Hmm, huh, interesting. I don't know how to promote what the promotion is all really about. Oh. And I got Cloud 2. <laughs> nice. 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 Not bad. Uh, so I guess I can just start it off with that then? Question mark? Can I do another one? Or... I can't tell. Oh, not enough. Okay. Not enough. Not enough. That's fine. Uh, so I guess I got the cloud job. Should I stick with that? That's the real question. Should I stick with this? Or nah. What the hell? This is a total mess. It's like random. Uh, it's like randomly. Huh. Weird. This is weird for me. I'm. I still. I still think I should uh, reroll though. So, actually, let me check the currency. How much is uh stuff? Oh come on! Do I really have to put in my birth date? <sighs> I really don't feel like doing that. So not yet, anyways. Should I stick with this? I think I'm Yeah, I'm gonna restart it Alright, now I have to exit it And then I read the row Alright, so top Topic and discussion right now Is definitely um, Across Reddit YouTube uh, Facebook groups, etc. It's about the shenanigans that Global is having right now as their uh, model, right, for the legend jobs. And that is, um, God damn it. I forgot I have to do everything over. Um, so the, basically the problem is that, it, um, the way, the only way to get legend jobs as of right now, based on their model, is to purchase $75 worth of magic sites um, into the game and then you acquire the job. Voila, easy. That's the, at least that's the model from what I understand, right? There's obviously some things wrong with that, but let me go over the differences between Global and uh, JP from what I know, all right? 
Um, you, first of all, the job, the job gotcha. You don't roll dips, which is insane. Um, you don't roll dips on the freaking um, job gotcha. It's a hundred percent guarantee you're getting to get something new, and um, yeah, it's obviously totally unexpected. Um, I didn't know it was going to be that way either until I started playing JP or global rather and then all of a sudden I find out wow you get you get new jobs get you get your guarantee to get a new job every single time you pull in that banner and I was like okay this could this could be interesting this could be this can be a good thing it could be it potentially could have been a good thing and then we go along down the further into the road and then all of a sudden we had a roadblock and that roadblock being that due to um, the job gotcha being a hundred percent guarantee, um, guarantee a new job that is in Globo, um, people aren't pl aren't pulling um, in the gotcha banners at all, right? Just because there's no reason to. You got the ability shop. In which you can use your tickets to get whatever the hell you need, um, hundred percent. You don't even need to pull in the gacha banner to get the cards to, uh, to get the card that uh, for whatever purposes you need it for, right? Um, it's just in the ability shop. You can get it from there. No need to pull in the gacha. There's no reason to, right? In that perspective, um, Square Enix. It's not really getting any money's worth, right? So what do they do? Well, Titus being the first legend job, why not put it in a seventy-five dollar uh, uh, magic site purchase requirement in order for one to get the job? All right, I buy that. I buy a $75 magic site pack. Got the job. Easy. I keep the magic sites for future use. And I got the tire job there. Peasy. Right? One time on it was the first time obviously, so I was like can't be good. can't be that bad in the future, right? And then this morning I went through older and then there was already YouTube videos and Reddit posts about the calendar, the December calendar, right? And it showed only one of the Dissidia jobs being the only a knight um, from Final Fantasy 3 in Dissidia, aka the Mystic, Ma Mystic Sage. That's the only thing that was uh, talked about in the calendar. And if memory serves me right, um, you get two of the Dissidia jobs um, free from just logging in. So when you put those two in comparison, it's really quite puzzling, isn't it? Um, quite puzzling. So the only conclusion that one can make here is that the Dissidia jobs will be put out one by one um, by Square Enix or whatever or whoever is handling the business model in a bi-weekly basis so every two weeks and you have to pay and you have to buy $75 worth of magicites in order to get those jobs which is insane right quite insane. I don't agree with it either, obviously. I'm not sh and honestly, I'm not quite sure if Mobius is really doing that badly that they need to put a legend job in s s the legend job uh, category, rather, the business model in that in such a way. Because 
Global has actually been pretty good, in my opinion. It's, it's done pretty. It's done pretty well for itself. We're just um, behind in content, because obviously, JP started first. Of course, we're going to be behind in content. So, we naturally have to just catch up. No problem. But, instead of putting the legend jobs in the banner, which people will naturally pull in in order to like get the job right, it's not like people are going to be full of summon tickets. Um, people aren't going to be full of summon tickets uh, before the job uh, comes out. That's a pretty rare case. Because... Honestly, every time a new uh, batch comes out, the average a person would have is probably mm, 80 tickets. So that would be, in a greater summon, that would be 3 pulls. On average, which is not, honestly not that, that, that big of a deal. Because if they wanted more, they would put in magic sites. They would buy matricide so that they can get the get whatever they want uh, they wanted uh, they wanted from the batch right, which would be, mean more profit in that sense right. But instead, but instead, um, the only way to acquire legendary jobs cards is to buy seventy five dollars worth of matricides, and to me that's fucking insane, right. I know I said that a lot already oh, throughout the course of this video, but it's absolutely insane. Seventy-five dollars can do you can do a lot of things. You can buy a Final Final Fantasy Five, uh, Final, not Final Fantasy Five. I'm so sorry. I can't talk right now. I'm so exhausted too. You can buy a fucking Final Fantasy Fifteen Collector's Edition, and you'll still be left over probably fifteen dollars to do whatever the fuck you want. Or you can buy food, and you could buy lots of food over the course of one week with seventy-five dollars. You could buy use the seventy-five dollars to even uh, use it for um, I don't know other mobile games, right? I use seventy uh, seventy around seventy-four dollars today, or the other day rather. Um, in Dragon Ball and Dokkan Battle in Global, because it was because their gems were on sale, and I was like, and I was like, why not? Fuck it, uh, it's on sale. I'm going to be saving it up for an upcoming banner. Might as well buy some, so that I can do some uh, multis there. Right, makes sense. And then in this case. Why did I even purchase seventy-five dollars worth of magicite for? Right, and the only reason that I would have that much is, mm, I don't know, buying the four-star augment cards. Maybe a, maybe a skill panel uh, unlocker, silver or gold ones, here and there, if I really need to. That's really it. There's no reason to use magic sites um, for any other reason right now. None. And the way that Square Enix is doing things right now is is really really bad. Seventy five dollars is an unreasonable price, especially considering the job that we're getting. Right, Titus. What's well, a first time thing? So it makes sense. They wanted to see what would happen. And I do have to admit, um, there are plenty of people ha that has the Titus job. Which probably suggests that, um, you know, people actually would support the model that they're trying to test, that they were testing it in. Which probably suggested that they thought, alright, this is working. People are going to buy the job, 
even though uh, if, if it's if they're going to put if they're willing to get the job they're willing to get the job rather to uh, by putting in seventy five dollars worth of magic size into the game it's worth it for them that's what they thought I'm part of that uh, problem obviously but the only reason why I bought the $75 worth of matches size is because I loved Final Fantasy X. I love that game. And A Striker is a resemblance of that. It represents that. So obviously, me being a fan, I'm going to buy that matches size to support and get that job. Because it's pretty much a cosmetic, in a sense. But, you're, if you're, but then they... Uh, do it for a job the next legend job that's in my opinion a lesser value apparently it's even weaker than red mage the mystic sage and that's not okay that's honestly not okay um, I can tolerate it once but I can't really tolerate it a second time if it's a lesser job you, if that makes sense. And... The basis of the story is... The price is unreasonably too high for just one single legendary card. Uh, legendary card. It's way too high. Like... It's pure bullshit. <laughs> it's just pure bullshit. Um, and honestly, if they really wanted to make that a thing, they should at least make the price reasonable. Right? So they either have two options. They make it a 19, uh, $19 Magicite pack, or the 39 or the 38 I don't know which one it was, but it was either 38 or 39, somewhere between it. One of those two Magic Sight packs. I think that's more reasonable. If it was some OP job like Lightning, Zidane, Snow, Hope, one of those kinds of jobs, then yeah, I think that would make more sense because they're fucking broken as hell. Hell yeah, I would uh, probably pay $75 worth of Magic Sight for later use. In order to get the job. Like, those jobs are broken. But when those jobs are not broken as hell, it should not be worth $75. It shouldn't. It's. It, it should never be that much. It should rather be. Hmm, probably 20 bucks. At most. Because those jobs are really, really mediocre. Like, this, it makes no sense why such a mediocre legendary job, who's almost the same rank as a red mage, or even below it, and I'm talking about the Mystic Sage here. The Mystic Sage is, is a lesser red mage, basically, and it's worth $75. Like, what the fuck are you trying to pull here, man? We have... Jap the Japan version, which I'm playing right now on Steam, to know what the hell is going to ha come up um, for Global. We have that timeline in our hands. You cannot bullshit people like that. There's only a very few minority who would probably be stupid enough to, or who is willingly to think that must be the only way to do shit. I should probably get it for collection purposes or whatnot. That's a very few minority. All right, I can tolerate first times, but if this is seriously going to be the business model, I would rather you lower the price in order to get the job. Be more reasonable, Square. At least be reasonable. Because right now, $75 for a fucking Mystic Sage, the City of Legendary job card, is not reasonable. Okay? Uh, uh, 
Was this one one of the higher tier ones? I don't remember. I do not recall. But I'm probably going to reroll anyway, so whatever. But yeah. Be more reasonable, Square Enix, if you're going to keep that as your business model, man. Like, that's all I ask. It's fine if that's the business model, but make the price more, uh, way lower than $75. Because there's no way everyone can afford $75 every two weeks to spend on this game. That's just not possible. Well, it is possible for people who has job and has money to blow. Obviously, there's that minority. But for the majority of us, the rest of us here, including me, no way. <laughs> there's just no way, dude. No way that's going to happen. I'm sorry. But Square, you're fucking up right now. If you're going to keep that as a business model, my f I suggest you change the prices to be lower or else there's going to be a lot of inactive accounts um, very soon in the coming months. <sighs> I think that's basically what everyone on Reddit ha uh, pretty much has to say about it and I agree with it because as someone who is willing to chip in uh, once in a while to support the game. Um, the price, the price tag for a legendary job is too absurdly high for um, a typical player. And I think Square should definitely change that. And I hope they do. I'm just voicing my opinion here. Everyone has their opinions. Some say it's okay. Some s say that it's unfair to free to play players or whatever. I understand majority of perspectives on this issue. But I'm going to have to agree with the majority here that $75 is not worth a legendary job and I hope they change the business model and uh, after um, before not after I, I I really hope they change that before the job or the, the city of it happens I can only be hopeful but yeah that's all I gotta say about it I probably repeated myself a lot here I'm just rambling on um, whatever comes on into my brain so my apologies for that um, but what do you guys think about this business model that Global Mobius has? Um, I want to hear what you guys think about it. Um, if you guys, um, want to ch check me out, um, further, please go ahead and subscribe to your channel. Um, I'm trying to be more active now since, um, the school term for me is almost done. So I'm going to be more free. And... Which means I'm probably going to stream, stream on Twitch more and make more videos, hopefully, in, um, while I'm free during winter break. But yeah, that's all my thoughts. I'm going to be continuing to re-roll here for um, JP version on Steam. Um, and yeah, man, I think that's about it. Hopefully, whoever's starting to play JP, uh, you get whatever the hell you need here. And as for, as for everyone else, especially in global, voice out your opinions, man. And just hope that uh, Square listens. That's all I gotta say about it, man. Thank you for watching the video. Again, if you like the content that I'm putting out, subscribe, follow my Twitter, etc. I'll put post everything on the um, description below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.